Okay, let's take a quick look at ID Marks SE for Windows in action. So this is the user interface. So when I if I quit this and restart it, this is what happens when you start up ID Marks. You'll see this window, and this is your user interface. So at the top part, it asks you where you'd like to create the IDML file. So you can either put it at the same level as the document. You can we have it hardwired into the Documents folder in a Marksware ID Marks SE folder, or you can click here and browse to a custom folder. So I'm going to click on Browse here, and I'm going to select this folder on my desktop right here called XYZ, and then I'll click on Open, and you'll see that show up. So now, whenever I convert a file in this folder here, we should see something show up. You can set this here so that if you run the same job through twice, you can either replace it or rename it. I prefer to rename it. That way you can version it as you go along. And then here, the Create Low Res Previews. This gets a little tricky because depending on what application you want to open it in depends on how it functions best. If your images are found, like, in other words, your job is from this local drive that you're running ID Marks on. I would start with none. And then if you have missing images, you can set it up here. It will create some low res. There is stuff we're not able to support with Quark yet. Um, that Quark doesn't support. We're not creating the right files. Or you can force it here and then down here. The important part is over here. You can set it to automatically open up the IDML file in, and you can select that. When I enable this box, I get a pop-up menu, and I can select from these different items. So right now, I have it set to open in Infinity Publisher. So if I take this text, this file here, and simply drag it on, you'll see it turns green. You can see it put a folder here that contains the IDML. And now my system is starting up automatically, Affinity Publisher, and it'll open up that file in Publisher. So we have essentially done InDesign to Affinity Publisher. And now I have a completely editable document here in Affinity Publisher. So let's close that down. Now if I go here and switch this to, say, Quark Express. Now if you're using Quark 2021, um, please fire it up first from testing here. It kicks it into trial mode. So I'm going to start up Quark because my trial is expired. And then we'll go ahead and have it fire up Quark um, or feed the file into Quark automatically. Quark 2020, it didn't do that with. Quark 2021, it did. I'm not sure if that's just a fluke on my test system or not. Okay, so Quark's running, so I'm just going to minimize it here. Set that to Quark 2021. I'm going to drag that same file on, and it's going to fire it up, and I've now done an InDesign to Quark conversion. So I now have an editable file in Quark. And in addition to that, you'll notice in the window behind this, I now have a second version with an underscore one appended to it. That's what the rename function does. So very quickly here, this is it's easy to get ID Marks SE up and running. And the other thing that you can do if you want is you can play a sound or you can reveal it in your file explorer. But basically, this is a, a simple utility for converting InDesign files into IDML and then feeding those IDML files into applications that can support them. So these are a list, InDesign, Quark Express, and Affinity Publisher. There may be other apps you have. You can do that with Choose Another App. And this is a quick overview of ID Marks SE for Windows.